Hi, I'm Dave from Crown Bees, and today we're going to talk to you about solitary hole nesting bees. The world has about 20 to 23,000 different species of bees. Seven of them are honey making bees, but the rest are just a lot of other things. 90% of them, way most of them, are solitary, where every female is a queen and they just do their own thing for about six weeks. Now a quarter of those nest in holes. Available holes like holes in trees where, where beetles were or holes that you're placing out. Because these bees are all solitary, there's no hive to defend, no eggs to defend, no queen. They all just, um, they're gentle. You can hold them in your hands. They're kid friendly. They're pet safe. What's fascinating about these bees is the way they carry pollen. Now a honeybee is carrying the pollen sticky on their hind legs and most of that pollen heads back to the hive. Most of the rest of other bees are belly flopping into a flower and they're carrying that pollen on their hairy bodies and legs. It's dry pollen. They're moving to the next flower, belly flopping again. That pollen is falling off everywhere. So solitary bees are phenomenal pollen spreading bees. 90% of these bees are emerging sometime between early spring and the summer. And there's really two types of bees. A spring bee where they overwinter as adults in a cocoon and sometime from early spring to late spring they come out and off they're doing their thing. The other set of bees overwinter as larvae and they use the heat of the early summer to change from larva to adult bee and they come out in May through maybe August, September. So what's going on inside these holes? Every solitary female bee is going to choose her own hole. She's out there gathering pollen and nectar, puts it back into the hole, lays an egg, and then she seals that chamber, that egg chamber, with something. Now early spring bees could use moist clay, other bees are using chewed up vegetation, some bees use tree resin, if you're out in the desert bees are using cactus pulp. But a chamber and a whole bunch of little protections keeps their eggs safe inside these holes. Raising hole nesting bees is super easy. You just need a variable size holes, small, medium and large holes, put them into something that uh, keeps them dry, so a house. Mount this house at about maybe head height on a morning sunny wall. For the food for these bees, they're looking for pollen and nectar in a 300 foot radius, 100 meters. Um, putting this pollen out early spring through deep summer in clumps, super helpful. Avoid man-made chemicals. We've learned that uh, the solitary bees tend to fly away from these types of smells. And do avoid uh, harmful houses that are made out of bamboo or just drilled blocks of wood you're going to have such a wonderful yard. You're providing quality pollinator habitat for your yard. These bees are going to provide you with more flowers and more food. Your neighborhood's going to benefit because the bees are spreading out everywhere. You're on the road to help North America gain more pollinators back. 